Hey guys, long time no see. I have wanted to make this video, uh, but things kept happening, and I knew there would be people out there that would be wondering where I was and if I was okay, and if for no other reason, I thought it would be important to make this video for that reason mostly. All right, let's let's backtrack here. The last time you saw me, I believe it was on a Friday, and little did I know what was about to happen the very next day. The very next day, so it was a Saturday, um, strange things started happening in my house, and it didn't occur to me right away what was going on, uh, because I just thought that things were like breaking um, like for example I went to make a cup of coffee and the coffee maker shut itself off and I thought that's strange because it's not that old of a coffee maker my husband had um, gotten that for me for Christmas um, and so I thought Jesus not very old to have died already and then like I did a load of laundry and when I went to take the clothes out of the dryer, they were still wet. Now that, I would have thought that the dryer went because I've had it for a long, long time and it's kind of overdue to be replaced, but it was still working fine. So I thought, oh, the dryer went. The thing is, it was spinning the clothes, but it what the heating element wasn't working. So I thought, oh, okay, the heating element went, you know, the dryer needs to be replaced. And then um, after that, my husband went into one of the bedrooms and he flipped on the switch for the light that's up ahead, overhead, and it was like a brownish color. And it was kind of strange looking. So, of course, we replaced the light bulb and it didn't make any difference. It still was the same way. Um, and we tested the light bulb like in another uh, lamp in another room and it was different but still not like normal so <laughs> it took a while but we figured out that nothing was dying in the house it was what they call a brownout now I've never experienced one of those before We've lost our electricity many, many times since we bought this house, but I've it either the electricity is on or it's off. I've never been in a situation um, that would be considered a brownout, which is when you have some electricity coming into your house, but not full power. So that's why the dryer was spinning, but not heating. That's why the coffee maker kept shutting itself off, and that's why the light looked really strange in that bedroom. So I called National Grid, which is our electric company, and they sent a truck out. And um, to make a long story short, the issue wasn't with any of their equipment. It was something else. Um, apparently, you know, it depends on what the setup is and where you live and everything it's not the same everywhere but there's some kind of wire that runs underground between um, like these different uh, boxes and meters and stuff I, I don't know I'm not an electrician so I don't know but anyways that wire had rotted or something and it needed to be replaced so because this happened on a weekend we didn't have full electricity for three to four days. So thank God the refrigerator still worked and we had um, sort of had lights <laughs> and the TVs worked and um, everything else wouldn't work, including the furnace and it was cold and it snowed and oh god so anyways um, 
I have some space heaters because we've had problems with our furnace off and on for ever since we bought it, frankly. And um, so one time we couldn't use our furnace because they had to basically pull the whole thing out of our house and bring it back to the repair shop. And it was such a big project that they had to just pull it right out of the house. And um, so we had to buy all these space heaters back then. So thank God I had those. But I only had so much juice coming into the house. So I could only use one space heater a small one at that and we pretty much had to like live in the smallest room in our house which is basically this room <laughs> um, we had to kinda just stay in this room as much as possible and then the rest of the house was freezing cold and I was afraid that the pipes were gonna freeze because it got really cold at night and like I said one day it even one night it even snowed and um but we pretty much had to just stay in this room. And, um, you know, if we wanted to eat something, the, the stove wouldn't work and the appliances wouldn't work. So we could open the refrigerator though, thank goodness. And we basically just had to eat like as simple as possible and eat things that didn't require any cooking. I did have this one tiny little appliance, um, I don't know. I always called it a hot pot. I don't know if you've ever heard of those, but it's just this little plastic thing that you plug in and you can either heat up water in it or you can uh, boil eggs or put soup in it. There's just so many things that you can do with it, but it doesn't require a lot of electricity. So I would use that and I would like hard boil some eggs and um, you know, heat up water to have coffee and stuff. And uh, huh, basically we were just, you know, trying to eat, like I said, as simple as possible. So even though I had a small space heater in this room, there were a lot of times where you had to leave this room, like, you know, to use the bathroom or to cook or you know, for various reasons. Oh, and the hot water heater didn't work at all. So no hot showers. So we had to just like heat up water and pour it in a sink in the bathroom and then take like a sponge bath type thing, which doesn't really get you that clean. And thank God I had washed my hair Saturday morning. So by the time the electricity was restored on Tuesday, um, you know, <laughs> then I could wash it. But, um, so it was, it was really, boy, you, it was like camping indoors almost. It was, uh, it was rough. And every time I would open the door to this room, the heat that we had built up in the room would just go whooshing right out into the hallway and the other rooms. And, um, so yeah, that was, that was a nightmare. So what do you think happened because I had no heat in my house for four days? I got sick. But in the middle of an outbreak that we're having all over the country, I didn't know if I was sick because of living in a house with no heat for four days, or I didn't know if I had a cold, or I didn't know if it was allergies because I always get allergic reactions when the seasons change. So I think, I mean, I didn't get tested for, you know what, you're not supposed to say that word for some reason in your videos and I'm not really supposed to talk about that subject I heard or you get demonetized, which is crazy. Um, anyways, I got... I started developing all these symptoms and I wasn't really sure what it was that was wrong with me. I think it was a combination of many different things. I don't think it was just one thing, but like I got a sore throat and I think that was allergies and then I got sinus issues and I think that was allergies, but it's when I started developing a dry cough and chest pressure 
that's when I thought, oh my God, this is more than just allergies or a cold. And at one point, it got pretty bad, but they kept saying on TV and on the radio, you know, if your symptoms were not that bad, don't go to the hospital, don't go to a doctor. And I remember my husband and I were sitting there in the living room. This is, you know, after the power was restored, obviously. Um, I was sitting there watching Netflix with my husband, and I was thinking to myself, if I get any sicker than I am right now, I'm going to need to go to the hospital. Because I was, like, it felt like an elephant was standing on my chest. I was starting to have trouble breathing. And I was like, this is it. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. And I started envisioning, you know, the worst and everything and thinking that this was it for me. And one thing that made me feel better when I was sick was hot liquids. Every I noticed that every time I drank like a cup of tea and I was putting lemon in it, I would feel a little bit better. Or every time I would have hot soup or something like that, I would feel better. So I thought, you know what? I really don't want to go to the hospital. And I need to figure out a way to just, you know, try and use some common sense and hope that this gets better. So I just kept drinking cup after cup of hot tea. When it was time for a meal, I had soup. Um, we made uh, homemade chicken soup. And I started to feel better. But then a few days after that, I started getting an earache, a really bad earache in this ear. And um, I started getting headaches. And it just seemed like over the course of time, I, had, I would have like one set of symptoms and then start to feel better and then develop another one. And then those would go away and then it'd be something else. And... I felt like I was being attacked in multiple areas of my body. So right now, all I have is um, a little bit of a sinus issue. I've kind of got like a runny nose and a little bit of congestion. But other than that, I feel okay. But I don't really trust it because it seems like, like I said, things keep evolving and shifting and new things appear. But during all this time, I didn't... Uh, have even the slightest urge to wear makeup because I wasn't feeling good and because after dealing with that whole brownout issue, the last thing in the world I cared about was putting makeup on my face when I didn't even have electricity to run anything in my house, you know, a furnace or a hot water heater or anything. And then I was just feeling sick and everything. So today is the first time that I have worn makeup since... Um, that Saturday that we started having problems with the electricity and not knowing what was going on. And uh, basically what I've been doing all this time, because I haven't been making videos, is I've been watching Netflix, I've been reading, uh, I started meditating, which I've done like off and on throughout my life, but I, I tend to meditate when things aren't going well in my life. I just feel like it helps with the stress and stuff. And if you're stressed about this, if you're stressed out about the current situation going on in the world, um, it definitely helps. It definitely does. You just have to have the, the concentration to do it and stick with it. Um, but I have found it to be very helpful. Um, what else have I been doing? We got to go for a walk. Like you guys know, I like to go hiking. We got to go for a walk uh, Saturday. We've had a lot of crappy weather, so we haven't really been able to go outside that much. And plus, I haven't felt good enough. But Saturday was a pretty decent day, so we decided to go hiking. And there's a few places in our area that we like to go. And... Um, so we decided to go to the one that we thought would be the least crowded because, you know, you're not supposed to keep so many feet away from you and other people and all that. So we got there and pulled in the parking lot and I've never seen it like that before. It was packed. Just about every parking space was taken. 
And I was like, oh my God. I said, do you want to go somewhere else to my husband? And he said, where are we going to go? It's going to be even more crowded probably at the other places that we normally go. So I was like, all right, but this is not good because every time we pass somebody on the trails, if they cough or something, you know, and I didn't want to have to wear um, uh, anything over my face, it would kind of like defeat the purpose of going outside and getting fresh air. So we made out okay. We definitely saw a lot of people, but nobody was coughing or anything. I think I did hear one person cough, but they weren't that standing that close to me when they did it. But um, yeah, that was, we're gonna have to find a place that's more remote than that if this if this thing continues because I really like to get outside and get some fresh air and exercise and just get out like in nature like I can go for a walk anytime I want just in my neighborhood but I like to get like out in the woods like really into nature to go for a walk and um yeah most of the time it's just not practical to do that so anyways um I haven't really been that interested in makeup and I have no idea when I'm going to make another video but because of that but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know what have been going on and why I haven't made videos but yeah my interest in makeup right now is practically non-existent I mean it just doesn't seem relevant to the world anymore um, all I want to do is watch Netflix, read, meditate, and get outside when we have a decent day, which we have not had hardly any good weather at all. It's either been raining or cold or snowing or really cloudy. We just, <laughs> this is not my idea of spring. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on and how I was doing. And I hope that you're all doing okay. Um, you can let me know in the comment section if you've been sick or uh, how you've been feeling about what's been going on. Or, you know, have you lost the desire to put makeup on your face? I, I sure as heck have. Um, I put some on today, but like I said, I just am not, just don't care about that. It just seems so insignificant now. I haven't been watching other people's makeup videos. I just don't care. It's um, not very high on the priority list anymore. So let me know what you think, and um, I'll see you when I see you. I have no idea what the future holds, but um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.